Hi, I'm Lizzie Lamb. I write Scottish themed romantic novels and this is the first one I wrote and it's entitled Tall, Dark and Kilted. Uh, subtitle, Notting Hill meets Monarch of the Glen. I'd like to share the blurb with you if that's okay, just to give you a taste of the sort of thing I write. Fliss Bagshaw longs for a passport out of Pimlico where she works hard as a holistic therapist. After attending a wild party in Notting Hill, she loses her job and with it, her dream of becoming her own boss. She's offered the chance to take over a failing therapy centre, but there's a catch. The centre lies 500 miles north in Wester Ross. Fliss's romantic view of the Highlands, populated by rugged men in kilts, is shattered when she has an up-close and personal encounter with the, laid of, the laird of Kinloch Mara, Rory Urquhart. He is determined to pull the plug on the centre, bring his eccentric family to heel and deject undesirables from his estate, starting with Fliss. Facing the dog who once more and stung by his attitude, she resolves to make sexy, infuriating Rory revise his unflattering opinion of her, sort out his dysfunctional family and turn the therapy centre around. However, can Fliss tame the monarch of the Glen and find true love in the Highlands of Scotland? Let me read you a little extract to whet your appetite. Chapter one, Notting Hill. The music hit Fliss as she rounded the corner of Elgin Crescent, Notting Hill. The sugared almond, pink and yellow houses were almost vibrating in the late May evening as I predict a riot blasted out from an open window halfway down the street. Her stomach flipped over with a mixture of excitement and nerves as she acknowledged that the Kaiser Chiefs were bang on message. It was going to be that kind of night, that kind of party. She gazed wide-eyed at the grand houses and expensive cars parked in front of them. It wasn't every day she was invited to this exclusive postcode. In fact, she was more likely to be found passively inhaling her friend's cigarette smoke over shared laughter gossip and mojitos outside her favourite pub in Pimlico than hanging with a Notting Hill set. But tonight was different. If she read Isla's Urquhart's invitation correctly, she was about to be made an offer she couldn't refuse. One which would whisk her away from her poorly paid job at Pimlico Pampera's therapy centre and propel her towards, well, if not stardom exactly, then something more promising than the long hours and low wages which were commonly her lot.